Okay, now you're going to go up to E, G, and C. I think that's like a first or second inversion or something. So then you go one, two, three, four. Now you do another inversion, and you go to F sharp, A, and D. And you get play for one, two, three, four. If this ever gets to be too much, just pause it, go play it out on the piano till you know it, and come back and watch the rest. Okay, because I know this is a lot. So it goes one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you're going to do another inversion, and you're going to do G, C, E. So it's one, two, three, four. Now this is pretty easy. Your pinky and your thumb stay the same, but instead you go down to a B. So you go from C to B. So it's. Now from here it just sort of goes into reverse. You go back down to F sharp, A, D, and you go. And then back to your original chord. And from here the rest is pretty easy. So it's. gets kind of repetitive. So remember you're just here. And then you go one, two, three, four, then up to C. One, two, three, four, and then back. One, two, three, four, then down to D, F sharp, and A. One, two, three, four. And then you repeat it again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.